Got it. Alright. Bang on. Yeah. Got a book. Keep it on. Book. Am I right? Maybe. Saved it. Maybe don't be so silly. <laughs>
Right, so we are currently on our fourth warm-up set, I think. Fourth yeah. warm-up, third or fourth warm-up set. Uh, moving up to, well, you're on 30, 38 again. I'm going to do 140s. 140s. Yeah, so we're doing about four reps on each. When we're moving up the weight, we're doing about four reps on each weight. Uh, just so not tires out, so we can go a bit heavier on our top set. Um, so I just did my last set on 30s. I'm going to go up to, I think, 36s, see how that feels. If we get 40s out, I'm going to go for a set of 12 on 40s. But we'll see. So, one thing to remember on these, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but one thing to remember on these is when you're doing your warm ups, especially early on in the workout, you don't want to uh, fatigue yourself. So, don't go above five reps. Your main focus on your warm ups is to gauge the weight, to make sure have a good idea of what it feels like to you to your working set and secondly to um, make sure that any any discrepancies in form is dealt with before you go to your working set. What you don't want to do is you don't want to be like, am I doing this right on my working set? You want to you want to get that nailed before you get to your working set. So these warm-ups, we, we do it through a couple of reps and we're really making sure that we're nailing form. Um, so by the time we get to our work set, we can just pull out and just go fucking forward and press it. Uh, intensity is everything. to the back off of our second exercise. Got a sick top set for Andy. Got a sick top set for me and he forgot to film it. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll try again in two weeks. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, we're gonna do one back off set now of about 15, 12 to 15 reps. Um, um, I would say eight to 12. Top set, we're gonna try and go for like five, five to eight. So heavy foot top set, five to eight reps. Don't go that, don't to get less than five reps. And then second set, like eight, 8 to 12. If you get more than 12, it's okay, but you want to pick away weight gaze 12. This exercise, first exercise with low incline, low incline dumbbell press, that's only to compensate for any arch. So if you go on a flat, normally you'll arch and change the angle, so it'll be a lower chest. So we did a low incline, so we ended up with mid chest, because uh, we're obviously going to arch towards the end of the set. This exercise is uh, high incline smith, and high incline smith um, is to target like yeah, that, that angle, target like the top of upper shelves of the chest because again you're going to arch so you're going to have a really high incline so you make it just a normal or semi-normal incline so you'll still get the the, uh, the top portion of the leg center. So key point to note on the back off we're not going to hold off on the intensity still going to push the bollock trying to get the weight up though. So, yeah. yeah just lower weight doesn't mean lower intensity.
Okay, guys, so that is us done for the first ever Moose Diary um, episode. So that's episode one of the Moose Diary, and um, that was a good session. Me and Adam train push, as you saw, and we, um, yeah, that was, that was a, uh, that's the way I like to train. Um, we trained in tents, we trained with thought, we trained with accuracy, and we really pushed each other. And that's what I was saying at the beginning about finding a training partner that can really push you to the next level because you can train hard on your own. You really can, and I do train hard on my own. But there's something about having somebody who's on the sort of same wavelength as you, where you um, really just uh, get after it and push each other that you just can't achieve on your own, you know? So um, that's a big, big uh, piece of advice, a big sort of secret in, in, in pushing your intensity up, is find somebody on that same, same wavelength that can push you forward, um, that wants it as much as you do. So um, yeah, that's us wrapped up. We did uh, a push session today. We did low incline dumbbell press to start with, which uh, targets the middle of the chest because obviously you're gonna arch, you're gonna elevate that rib cage a little bit when you reach, you get towards failure. So uh, to compensate for that, you put it on a one notch up and smash the middle of your chest. We did the same principle by putting it on a high incline for the Smith machine because again, you're gonna arch when you get uh, when you get tired, you're gonna elevate the rib cage. So that's gonna hit the, the, the upper part of the chest regardless. Um, so that was good. We enjoyed that. Uh, a couple of sets of dips. And then we moved on to the volume stuff, which uh, which we used cuffs for the um, uh, blah, 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 cable flies, seat cable flies, which we felt really, really good. Uh, and then super set push ups, some tricep push downs, some um, side raises, and then we just finished with some abs. And then I had a mad shoot, which is why I'm doing this wrap up video now in the car. So, yeah, that was good. Um, so, uh, one more thing that I wanted to mention there because that was an intense session and the toll that that takes on you, not only from a muscular standpoint, which you'll, you, what you'll find if you, if you if you look into these things, that a lot of people out there talk about, you know, the toll that, that uh, heavy and intense training takes on you on a muscular standpoint. So they'll talk about the, um, the, the chest, if you do a chest session, then the chest's gonna be sore and you wanna minimize the amount of chest soreness. But not only that, when you do a real hard heavy session, it's low volume and high intensity, the toll that, that takes on you neurally, as in the toll it takes on your brain and your spinal cord and your nervous system, uh, is probably much more of a concern than the toll it takes on you muscularly. Because if you can heal and recover the nervous system, then the rest of the body is gonna be absolutely fine. Uh, your muscular system is gonna be absolutely fine. So. What you want to do is if you have a really intense hard session like that, you want to try and keep your stress as low as possible for the rest of the day. And generally you want to keep your stress and manage your stress as much as possible anyway. But if you have a ton of stress on, as in like work is melting down, you know, if you've got kids and they're like shit's happening with the kids or whatever's going on in your life right now. Um, if you've got a ton of stress on, that's going to diminish your ability to train. It's just, it's just a fact, right? Because you only have a, a set amount of resources available to you each day to um, deal with uh, stresses, whether they be physical or mental. So you wanna try and keep your mental stresses to a minimum and you wanna try and manage them best you can. So we've uh, wrapped up a really intense, neurally and, and physiologically taxing session there because it was heavy. So the rest of the day now, I'm gonna chill out. I'm gonna do some work. Um, I'm gonna do some um, editing of this video here. I'm gonna do some um, research. I'm gonna do some prepping for the YouTube channel we're launching. but. Uh, other than that, I'm also going to have a bath. I'm going to watch some Netflix. I'm going to chill myself out and I'm going to uh, start the process of recovery. Um, yeah, because because it's like you're only as good as what you can recover from. And it's not just muscular, it's neural, it's a uh, nervous system as well. So hope you enjoyed that. We're going to do another episode tomorrow. Uh, we're going to come back. Uh, today's the 3rd of October. We're going to go back on the 4th of October tomorrow uh, to do a pull session. Um, where we're gonna, again, that's gonna be another taxing, big, heavy workout. Um, and then we're gonna take uh, at least one day off, maybe a couple of days off to recover from those two workouts before we go and hit an upper top up. And then on Friday, we're gonna come and hit legs. So um, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you next time for the next episode of Moose Diary. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, before you go, I just wanna say, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. It really, really helps. And if you wanna join in, if you wanna uh, give us some feedback, then drop a comment below. We'd love to see what you guys think. If you've got any questions whatsoever, let us know in the comments below and we'll get right back to you. And don't forget, if you like what you see in this video, we've got plenty more where that came from over in our free Facebook group at www.talkmusclegrowth.com. That'll send you straight through to the Facebook group. I'll see you next time.
Thank you.